Have you noticed Canva's new video edit update? It's supposed to make editing faster, cleaner, and a lot more efficient. But is it really better? In this video, I'll walk you through the new timeline design, layer features, and audio tools and show you exactly how it compares to the old version. By the end, you'll know whether it's worth switching or if you should stick to the classic editor. Okay, so Canva got a new update on their new video editor and it's supposed to be more efficient, so let's check it out. We'll go into the video section and let's select one template. We will go with this one. Let's try customizing it. So now we have all these elements here, and as you can see down here, the editor um, is a lot bigger than before, and it looks a little bit more organized and compressed, so you can see a lot more. Uh, you can increase the timeline size to preview all of your elements, so you can see everything here before it was kind of stretched out and really hard to see small elements. And remember before when I needed to add something, it would stretch out um, to the length of a page. So this is my page, and if I added an element, it would pretty much take up the whole length of my screen, and I would have to find the end of it and then adjust the size, and it just was really time-consuming. But now this one, because it has shrunk down to what it is, I can easily see where my um, graphic is. So adding to that, um, another thing that they improved is now you can include an element um, across different pages before you are kind of stuck to its own page. And so this also allows you now to drag across all pages and throughout the whole video and even further. You're not limited to the page that it is it is on. So this is really useful if you want a logo or a watermark throughout your whole video. So let's say we want um, this TikTok logo throughout the whole video. You can now do that before you would not be able to extend past the page. So this is very useful. And if you move this element down here and say that's your logo, you can now skip through different pages and it will be there. Before, you would have to duplicate the same position for each page and that is very time consuming. And now with the new timeline, you can do a lot more precise adjustments. So for precise timing adjustments, you can maybe stretch this out a little further. It doesn't easily snap onto an unwanted point anymore. And because it is larger and you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can see a lot more elements, you can now adjust an element um, a little bit more refined. So as you can see up here, when I am adjusting this, you can see how slowly it moves and you can do more precise adjustments. And to zoom in to this timeline, you have this slider here. Right now it is set to the video, but if you click on it, you can now adjust the width of the timeline. And another improvement now with the new timeline is that each of these elements have their own icons on the left side in the beginning of the element. Before, if it was super long, it would just be centered in the middle and you would kind of have to search and scroll through the timeline to see what that element is. Now everything is on the left-hand side and you can easily tell if it's a text, if it's a shape or an image. So this makes editing a lot more efficient and easier. And this new editor also has new improved audio settings. So for the editing, now it's a smoother experience moving these audio files around. And when you want to duplicate an audio file, you can just duplicate and it will create the same audio file for you right here. So it just simplifies layering sound on the audio tracks and if you want to add sound effects. So overall, I enjoy this new editor because it is more compact and has a lot more layers to it. 
It does feel a lot more faster than the old ones where it is really hard to move things around and it gets a bit laggy. And now I can also stretch a lot of things throughout the video. So that is very helpful. I'm not only limited to the page itself, but now I can layer a whole bunch of elements on top of it. And for those of you who do not like the new editor, I have a trick for you to turn this back into the old editor and this is how you do it. So you simply go to your profile down here and then go into settings and then scroll to the very bottom and this is where you find the video editing section. And you can toggle this left or right to enable the, the new multi-track editor. I hope this video helped you in deciding if you want to use new editor or not, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.